Lesson 1. I will interpret a multiplication equation as a comparison. You should have already completed Lesson 1 in Zern. Now you're ready to work on your problem set. I'd like for you to look at your problem set and do the first do's. See if you can work on any of those by yourself. Remember that your first do's today were prop all of problem 1, all of problem 2, and all of problem 5. So after we complete problems 1, 2, and 5, we're going to go back to 3, 4, and the rest of the problems. Alright, so first of all, in your pacing guide and in your binder, you should have lesson 1 problem set. I want you to write your name on your problem set, and then we're going to take a look at this. This is very similar to what you did in your Zern lesson. It says label the place value chart. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through and you're going to label the place value chart. So hopefully you remember that this would be ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And you should have noticed that I started with the ones. You could have started with the thousands, but you would have had to count over first. So it says, fill in the blanks to make the following equations true. So we have 10 times 3 ones. So if I have 3 ones 10 times, how many ones would that be? Well, let's see. So here's 1, 2, 3 ones. So if I had 10 times each, that means I'm going to take each of these ones and multiply them times 10. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to do the same thing here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this will be 10, 20, 30 ones. Now we can bundle these ones. Remember how many it takes to make a whole new number. If I have 10 ones, I can bundle groups of 10 just like we did in our Zern lesson. So there's one group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10. So when I bundle these, I'm going to have one two, three tens. And three tens has a value of what? 10, 20, 30. Okay, so I've got three ones equals three tens, or we could say 30. Okay, let's take a look at B. If you feel like you understand how to do this, go ahead and do it by yourself. Pause the video, do it by yourself, and then come back and you can check with me. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in this place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, so this time I have 10 times two tens, so I have two tens. So here's one ten, two tens, and I'm going to multiply each of these by ten. So that means I've got each ten ten times. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So remember, I can bundle. How many are in a bundle? 10, right? So I'm going to take this group of 10 tens and this group of 10 tens. And for each group of 10 tens, I'm now going to have a 100. So I've got 10 times 2 tens equals 20 tens, which is equal to 2 hundreds. Or we could write that in standard form as 200. All right, 
If you haven't done any of these by yourself, I want you to pause the video and I want you to go ahead and try to do C all by yourself and then come back and check with me and see if you did it correctly. Okay, so hopefully you did this all by yourself and you went ahead and labeled the place value chart ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So what I did here was I had four hundreds times ten. So I'll start with four hundreds. One, two, three, four. And I multiplied each hundred by ten and then I bundled them into groups of ten and that gave me four thousands. So four hundreds times ten equals forty hundreds which equals four thousand and you can write four thousand like this in standard form. Okay, Alright, now let's take a look at problem two. Complete the following statements using your knowledge of place value. I want you to read through these and do as many of these as you can and then come back and we're going to check together. Okay, so let's take a look at A. Hopefully you pause the video and try these by yourself. Ten times as many as 110 is. So I've got 110 and I have it 10 times. That means now I have 10 tens. 10 times as many as blank tens is 30 tens or blank hundreds. Well, let's see. If I have 30 tens, that means I did 10 times as many as 3 tens. And if I have 30 tens, if I think about my place value chart, right, and I have my ones, my tens, and my hundreds, if I've got 30, this isn't 30, but just pretend, if I have 30 tens, then I can bundle those into three groups, which gives me one, two, three hundreds. Blank as nine hundreds is nine thousands. Well, that would be ten times as many. Ten times as many as nine hundreds is nine thousands. So for D, blank thousands is the same as twenty hundreds. So, hmm, let me think. What do I know about this? Let me get my pen back here. So I'm going to take a look at a place value chart. It says here to use pictures, numbers, or words to explain, so this is kind of my picture. So really I could probably do this down here. Alright, so I've got my place value chart. I'm going to have to draw an extra one here. So this is going to stand for ones, tens, hundreds, and I'm going to put a TH for thousands. Alright, so I'm wanting to know how many thousands are the same as 20 hundreds. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've got 20 hundreds and I want to know how many thousands that would be. So I'm going to bundle each of these groups of 10 and then I'm going to move them to the thousands place. So that's 1,000 that's two thousands. So my answer would be two thousands is the same as twenty hundreds. And it says use pictures, numbers, or words to explain. So this is one demonstration of how you could use pictures to explain. You also could have just written out exactly what you did. You could have said that you know that you have twenty hundreds and you could take ten hundreds and make a thousand. So with twenty hundreds that would be two groups of ten which would be two thousands. Alright, let's take a look at number five. We're going to fill in the blanks again. So remember we're skipping number three and number four and we're coming down to number five. So two times as much as four is. So that means I have four two times. That would be Eight, right? Ten times as much as four. So I have four ten times. So that means I've got one, two, three, four, and I've got each of them ten times. Well, that would be how much? That would be forty. 
Now read C carefully. 500 is 10 times as much as blank. So we're going backwards here, aren't we? This time they're kind of putting the answer first. We've got to think backwards. So we're going to end up with 500s. And we want to know that is 10 times as much as what? That would be 10 times as much as 5 tens, which is 50. So think about that. Here's my place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds. I've got five hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. Well, in order to get that, I had to bundle over here. So in order to get five hundreds, I had to have 50 or five tens. One, two, three, four, five. Five tens, which would be 50, is 10 times as much as 500. Once I multiply these times 10, I would have 500. All right, so this time we have to write the words. 6,000 is blank as 600. Well, I'm seeing a pattern with the one before, right? So this is the same thing, only instead of being six. 500s, it's six thousands, and instead of being five tens, it's six hundred. So this will be is ten times as much as six hundred. All right, okay, so we've already read. Now we're going to come back and we are going to draw. So remember, we've got read. Now we're going to draw. So all morning, I have been drawing a place value chart to represent 10 times as many. So I'm thinking that that would be a good thing for me to draw. So I've got ones, tens, and hundreds. So it says that Matthew has 30 stamps. So how many tens are there in 30? Well, there are three, right? So I've got 10, 20, 30. So this represents how many stamps Matthew has, but his father has 10 times as many. So I'm gonna show 10 times as many as each of these. So this would be one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I know that here I have thirty. Tens. But I learned today that I can take 10 and bundle and 10 and bundle and 10 and bundle and move them to the next place on the place value chart. So I've got one, two, three groups of 10, so I can make one, two, three hundreds. So now I'm ready for my to write my number sentence. So my number sentence is going to be if I've got 30 stamps like Matthew and I'd make 10 times as many, that would be 300. So now I'm ready to write my word sentence. So I'm gonna go back and look at my question. How many stamps does Matthew's father have? So I just have to answer the question. Matthew's father has 300 stamps. All right, let's take a look at number four. So Jane saved $800. Her sister has 10 times as much money. How much money does Jane's sister have? Use numbers or words to explain how you got your answer. I hope you notice that problem number four is very similar to problem number three. I want you to pause the video and see if you can't do this one by yourself. Okay, so first of all, you should have read the problem. And then once you read it, you should have realized that it was very similar to problem number three. Next, you're going to think about what can you draw. Well, I chose to draw this place value chart. Now this time Jane had $800, so I had to add an extra place to my place value chart than I did in number three. So the first thing I did was I, go, I went through and I put in Jane's 800s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
and then I multiplied each of them times 10. That's why each of these are in groups of 10. Then I bundled them and moved them to the thousands place. So then I'm ready to write my number sentence. So I started out with 800. And I said 800 times 10 is equal to 8,000. Then I was ready to write my number sentence. The question is, how much money does Jane's sister have? Jane's sister has $8,000. All right, so we already did number five, so now we're ready for number six. Sarah is nine years old. Sarah's grandfather is 90 years old. Sarah's grandfather is how many times old as Sarah? So if I have Sarah and she is nine, so I have nine, and I want to know nine is how many times as much as 90 or nine tens. So if I'm over here in my place value chart and I have ones and I have tens and if I have nine ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then over here I have nine tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many times more is nine tens than nine ones? It is 10 times, right? So 9 times 10 equals 9 tens, or Sarah's grandfather is 10 times as old as Sarah. So today you were learning to write multiplication comparison sentences, and today we were comparing everything to multiplying times 10. Good luck on your exit ticket.